uh, this all goes back to the hard work that Jaden Daniels put in this offseason. This did not happen by accident. Jaden Daniels didn't take such a massive leap in his game just because he's older or more yeah. experienced. That man worked his ass off for eight months over the offseason to really learn progressions, to learn this offense inside and out. But it's it's just amazing because we were talking to Shea Dixon from from on threes, the Bengal Tiger the other day, and he, he explained it. You know, he's like, This is the the offense that was promised all those years. We're yes. we're gonna open it up. We're gonna go vertical. We're gonna throw to the tight end. Like this is everything y'all have ever wanted. Yeah, and it's and, the and one we'll, year you don't have DBs. And what's fascinating to me though too is that LSU fans really should not take for granted that you're getting an otherworldly 2019 esque level of production four years removed. Yeah. from 2019 and with a completely different cast of characters. So that's kind of incredible to be able to have that otherworldly production, but with a completely new set of guys, not just players, coaches, so like everything top to bottom new. And yet you're back there. That's kind of fun. And that's kind of exciting. And, and, and I never want to lose sight of the fact that uh, this all goes back to the hard work that Jaden Daniels put in this off season. This did not happen by accident. Jaden Daniels didn't take such a massive leap in his game just because he's older or more yeah. experienced. That man worked his ass off for eight months over the offseason to really learn progressions, to learn this offense inside and out. You know, uh, whenever you have uh, greatness, um, you have these sort of uh, tales that some will accuse of being apocryphal. Maybe they are, maybe they aren't, right? But I love the story about Brian Kelly basically saying that they had to change the hours and change the rules for Jaden Daniels because he was like getting up there at 5 a.m., not leaving till 8 p.m. Like that man spent the entire offseason in that building watching, studying film, trying to improve. And that deserves to be highlighted than when you see the massive leap. Because like everybody thought he was a known quantity. Yeah. He'd already started 30 or 40 games, whatever it was. And now he's doing something that you've never seen him do in his career otherwise. Well, and it's we've seen multiple eras of Jaden Daniels, which yep. we're not used to that for a college player because you, there's a finite amount of time you can play in college. He's obviously getting the extra year, but he was kind of the wonderkind as a freshman at Arizona State, which when you're throwing to Brandon Ayuk and you're handing to Eno Benjamin, that can happen. Yep. Then the decline, because he didn't have much talent around him, he comes to LSU, he looks somewhat one-dimensional, then mm -hmm. it starts to open up after the Florida game last year. And then what you said, the the, the just incredible work in the offseason, and he's just blossomed and looks like he's mastered he's complete. the he's offense. He's complete now. Yeah. Last year, they were having to, like a lot of coaches do with their system, last year they were having to split the field and basically give them like higher low reads, right? Like yeah. really minimal thinking sort of passing setups. And then a lot of times he would just rely on his legs, and his legs are great enough where he would make something happen. This year, he's legitimately going through all of his progressions. He's working every part of the field, including over the middle on timing routes against zone defenses, which is something that he would never have done last season. And when he does run this year, he has been damn near perfect when it comes to the decision about when to tuck it, when to keep your eyes up, when to get forward. And the man doesn't get enough credit for being tough. He doesn't slide. I mean, maybe he should, right? He probably should, but he doesn't. Yeah. He fights for extra yards. He puts his head in there. We all champion Joe Burrow for it. Jane Daniels needs some little respect as well because this is a tough son of a bitch, and he's well, been playing like it all year long. And he understands the way the rules work post fake slide, post Kenny Pickett's fake slide, because now you have to dive head first if you would like yeah. to get that first down. You can't unless you just know exactly where that stick is and you know that you're past it. You can't. He risk does. He does first. this crazy like. You know how in the, some of the old cartoons you would see a character um, when they'd be making fun of a skinny character? When you would see them horizontally, they would look yes. normal, and then they would turn vertical, and they'd be like that thin? Yep. Like that's Jaden Daniels when he runs the ball. He does these upfield cuts where he gets skinny and sideways, and he's almost like a cat like flattening itself through the door crack. <laughs> he just It defies physics, and he just finds a way to kind of just, just slip right through.